Now that it's summer, is it time to water the catacetums yet? Stay tuned to find out. Hi, welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess and today we're going to be talking about catacetums. Here in Southern California, the weather has been heating up and it's time to check on our catacetums to see if they're ready to be watered. Currently, I have two plants that are just ahead of all of the others, and it is the BC Alvira and the Catacetum Portuguese Star crossed with Lucis. These two were the first ones to break dormancy and grow huge leaves and roots. I've been giving these plants full waterings for about a month now, and currently it's potted in PET. It has a little bit of a reservoir and it drinks it up. These plants are getting full waterings. They stay moist the entire time, and I'm not letting it dry out between now and dormancy. These plants are very vigorous, so they grow really quickly in a short amount of time, and I just don't wanna set these plants back. If I keep it well hydrated and well watered, then it can survive these really hot temperatures that we're getting, the heat waves that are coming in, and as long as I maintain a healthy environment for these plants, uh, then I won't have any major problems. Um, since these ones were the first ones to come out of dormancy, these ones got attacked by some slugs. So you can see that some of the leaves are not perfect. Um, there's a little bit of sunburn on some of the plants, but overall they're doing great. So these plants are in sun most of the time and it gets about eight to 10 hours of sunlight and the rest of the time it's in bright shade. So far they're growing nice and straight. So I know that it's getting lots of light. Um, the leaves are nice and full and wide. So you know that these plants are very healthy and very vigorous. The majority of my collection is still in growth mode. So they have broken dormancy. Um, the new growths have already started, roots have started, but they're not at that point yet where they're getting full waterings. As you can see, some of them are about three inches long. They have a couple of leaves fleshed out. Um, so they're looking good. I water these ones about once or twice a week and um, they don't get a full drench. They get kind of a short, uh, session and then after a while it dries out for a day or two and then I repeat uh, the cycle again. So far these ones are doing well. They're kind of in a blend between a semi-hydro, PET, or just plain moss setup. So um, it'll be interesting to see the growth between the two. So I'm going to be watering it according to whichever media dries out first. Obviously a lot of these plants are in different size pots so it's going to be kind of a tricky uh, transition period between now and the full waterings as I'm slowly ramping up watering these plants. So on the far left side, these are plants that are just got, have their small little nubbins. They're not quite ready for uh, full waterings yet. So they get the overspray from the rest of the tray and hopefully that's enough. And right now everything is getting some sort of water right now, whether it's a little bit of misting overspray or they're getting light waterings or full waterings. I decided to do this about two weeks ago when the first heat wave started. Um, and it's been really beneficial because I've been growing these plants outside. Um, all the ones that aren't getting full waterings are under 50% shade, so they get bright light and they're a little bit protected from the sun. I did have some losses when I was trying to figure out that transition period. And for seedlings, uh, they're definitely a little bit more vulnerable. So some of the plants, they didn't do well because they dried out so much, they didn't have any reserves for the new growth. And in some cases, the new growth did start, but because the heat wave hit and it had no moisture left, um, it just dried up and shriveled and got sunburned. So to prevent that, um, that's why some of these smaller plants and seedlings are getting misting sessions right now. Also, this is the time where I'm done repotting. So any plants that need to be up potted, that's not gonna happen for the season. They're just gonna have to be uh, in their current pots and hopefully everything will be fine. Couple of plants that I do want to up pot. So one will be the Moneyera Millennium Magic. It's currently growing off to the corner of one of the pots. So I know that as it's gonna grow, it's gonna get top heavy and flip over. So that is one of the plants that I'm definitely gonna try to up pot. And it's not the best time to do this because you don't want to break the roots and disturb them. But as long as you're not being really aggressive and you just kind of put media around them and put it in a bigger pot, um, it should be fine. So that's the only one that I'm really uh, gonna try to repot or up pot. But for the rest of them, they're done repotting for the year or they should have been done repotting for the year and just kind of let it ride for the rest of the season. 
As the plants get stronger and grow, I'm gonna be moving it out of the 50% shade cloth into the full sun area. And I'm gonna do that when the weather is a little bit cooler, when it's probably like an overcast day, just to give it some time to uh, transition towards a brighter light environment. Most of these catacetums can handle really, really bright, strong light as long as they're gradually introduced to them. So as long as the environment has been changing gradually, it should be fine. So even though not all of these plants are the standard three inch of uh, top growth and three inch of roots to start watering, um, this seems to work better for me because we have hot, dry winds, we got hot, dry weather, and um, that's not really conducive to these plants and where they're naturally found. The humidity is a lot higher, so um, that's why um, they can survive without water for so long because there's a lot of humidity in the air um, in their natural uh, environment. Here in Southern California, it's a lot drier, it's a lot hotter, and so um, even though they like the heat and all of that, um, as long as you maintain the watering or the humid environment about it, then they won't dry out as much. So that's how my catacetums are doing currently. Most of them are getting some form of water at this time. And I know that as summer ramps up, I'm gonna have to increase the waterings for these so that they don't dry out at all and make sure that it gets enough fertilizer so we get nice strong growths and um, deal with any problems that may arise. I'm getting better at the culture of these plants, so I'm not having as many problems as I used to, but of course there's always gonna be situations that you can't control. And sometimes you're just gonna lose a couple of plants and that's part of the process. So right now I'm just hoping for a good growing season and I hope you do too. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.